Saturday after Ash Wednesday reflection. My dear friends, we are in the fourth day in the Lenten journey, 40 day retreat. Have you heard St. Augustine says, you love and then do whatever you want because love heals completely. If you love, you cannot hurt a person. If you love, you cannot use a person. And yesterday, he said, you have lost the bridegroom. You have lost that support, that love in your life. So fast in search of him. But because, because you need him. So in journey of coming back, release all the bondages of the other people. Because when you are hurt, you will hurt others. And today gospel, it speaks about the doctor and the patient. My dear friends, because we are sick, we, we are sick, we are broken, we break other people. That's exactly why you should realize in this desert experience, 40 days, why he has, he, you, are, you have lost him and that love without which you are broken and damaged. And that's exactly why you should, you need him as a healer. Jorafa. And he's the doctor, my dear friends. And he's, he's the physician who break open the rib or the chest and took the rib and created Eve. And he's the physician. And, and, and he's, the, he's the physician and we need him in our lives. That's how, that's why we have to realize what I lose, what I lack in my life. In the desert you will realize it. And the Lord is saying, and the Lord is having a meal with all the tax collectors. Tax collectors. When Jesus out, went out and saw tax, a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. My dear friends, they are considered as sinners. Why? Of course they were sinning. One thing, they were, they were, they were getting tax. They were, they were persuading people to pay tax for the Roman Empire. Because Israelites are the chosen people. And they are the mediators, kind of. So they were considered as sinners. They cannot enter the temple. They, they have to wait the area, outer courtyard, where all the pagans do worship. So that's the, that's the rule. So a tax collector is a person who, who, who robs people's money, cheated them. And they, when, when the Roman Empire said it's 10% tax, he could have, he interpreted it as 15%. And he would take 5% for himself. Of course, that is, that is sin. That is dirty sin. But that, that why? He's not accepted at all. There's no other way. All the people will corner him, condemn him, label him, look down upon him. So that's exactly why he is broken. When he's broken, he doesn't have any consolation in the world, any support in the world, any recognition in the world. Then he will use people. So there is, there is no meaning in his life. Of course, there, he tried to grab pleasure. He tried to get people done his work out of persuasion, force. And you lose the happiness. He's sick, my dear friends. Every sinner in that way is a sick person. You are not balanced. You are not normal. The plight of it, the danger of it, when you don't know that you are sick. The Pharisees, they were sick. But then they are covering up their sickness. They are not going to the doctors. They think it's okay. But that's why when and the, and the Pharisees and their scribes grumbled at his disciples saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Now who is without sin? Even the people who brought the sinful lady to stone according to the Mosaic law. They were all sinners. Jesus was writing their sin on the sand. And who can say that you are without sin? And who can say that you are without sickness? They all are sick. If someone, someone is saying that he's not sick, he's hiding it, pretends, pretending to be normal. 
that's more dangerous that's exactly why my dear friends the lord is student again you are free free yourself the first reading beautifully says if you take away the yoke from your midst the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness if you pour yourself out of the hungry out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noon day and the lord will guide your you continually and satisfy your desire in scorched places and make your bones strong and you shall be like watered garden like a spring of water whose waters do not fail my dear friends it's a beautiful city the lord is promising you he's promising you to be a garden where where the leaves won't wither shall be like god watered garden like a spring of water whose waters do not fail so for that you need healing exactly you need that touch accepting that you're broken yesterday that's exactly why the lord asked us to fast properly freeing the people whom you have damaged now now the lord is turning you into a blessing rather blessing people you are you're you going to be a blessing that's exactly what should happen in your life in this urgent and journey you have to realize you have to accept that i need a doctor that i am sick and i feel him because a, a patient cannot treat him by himself no that doctor should touch him and the way jesus touched levi it's beautiful he he said come follow me come follow me it's out of acceptance love that's the first day where he experienced the true love in his life without condemning labeling cornering no looking down upon that person jesus without judgment out of mercy is calling him he's saying that i want you i mean imagine a rugby a guru calling a sina to be his disciple i mean it's a, it's a bold decision that's why he was ali he was all the people put the allegation on jesus that it's against the is against the is against the normal tradition they were considered as sinners when you eat and eat with sinners because in meal in meal you share your life with him so you share sin that's exactly the speciality of our doctor he never just gave medicine instruct them no he be, became the medicine he became the food in that meal so he became that life for that lifeless person my dear friends the moment you experience that love you will begin to joyfully love the other person and that's why your ancient you and your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt you shall rise up the foundations of many generations you shall be called the repair of the bre breach and restore all streets to dwell in if you turn back your foot from the sabbath from doing your pleasure on my holy day you call the sabbath a delight and the holy day of the lord honorable if you honor it not going your own ways or seek your own pleasure or talking idly then you shall take delight in the lord my dear friends it's true way isn't it when you allow him to love you and jesus won leave levi or matthew to come follow me he left everything and followed him and see the way he became like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters do not fail he's one of the gospel writers he said matthew that table where there are suppressed people wrote all the taxes all the bills it turned into a table of evangelization writing the good news how that very darkness darkness became the light in in his life my dear friends shall your light rise in darkness and your gloom be as the noon tide where the sun is perpendicular just above you in when the noon tide in the noon tide there is no shadow at all you become that 
experience of the Lord. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.